Good morning, Year 4, and welcome to today's maths lesson. You can see there it's the 26th of February. It is a Friday, and we've only got one more Friday left of our home learning. And there we are. We are counting in tenths. We are taking it one step further from what we did yesterday when we were working with tenths and discovering them. Now we're going to be counting with them. OK, so to get us started, there's some questions for you to be having a go at. I'd like to pause the video now, have a go, and then press play when you're ready. OK, so question one, what fraction of the cubes are each colour? Well, first of all, we need to ask ourselves how many there are. Now, this should be pretty straightforward because we're working with tenths. Um, however, we can count them up and we know that there are 10 of them. OK, so if we think about the yellow, we know that our denominator is going to be uh, 10 because the whole is 10. Now we need to work out what our parts are. So yellow, you can see there that we have got Sorry, there's our tenths as our denominator. Our yellows, you can see we have got five tenths there. Um, with our red ones, we can count those up and we can see that we've got four tenths, which means that without having to count, I know that the green is one. How did I know that? Obviously, I could have counted as just one there. But I know that because five, add four, add one makes ten. And five and four gave me nine, so I need one more to make ten. OK, now, which of these is the same as a half, do you think? Ooh. Well, if you look here, the yellows, there's five of them. There's five out of ten. Five is half of ten. OK, so five tenths is the same as one half. Ooh. Does that mean we can have more than one fraction mean the same thing? Perhaps it does. That's for later on this term. So which of the fractions above are unit fractions? We know from earlier in the week that a unit fraction, the numerator is one. So the fraction that is a unit fraction on there is the green one, one tenth, which means that the fractions that are non-unit fractions where the numerator is greater than one, they're the other two that are left, five tenths and four tenths. Super duper. Shall we get on with some new learning? Let's learn. Okay, so. Look at that tens frame there. What fraction are yellow? Now, you heard me right. What fraction are yellow? Well, hopefully you're saying that, well, there's none yellow, Mr. Hyde. They're all red. Well, you know what? You'd be right. Zero. No uh, yellow counters in that tens frame, which means that it's no tens. It's zero. Now we've got one. We've got one tenth. We could also represent that in a bar model like that there. We have got 10 equal parts. One of them is represented. The same if we had two tenths. OK. Showing that as a fraction, we'd have a numerator of two. And we'd have um, a denominator of 10. And if we had our bar model, we'd have two equal parts onto three tenths okay you can see there we've got three as a numerator 10 is the whole as a denominator we've got three out of 10 three equal parts of 10 as shown with that bar model and the same with four tenths at the bottom okay now i could skip right up to the other end of the scale and there we go what fraction are yellow now well we've got the whole tens frame which is 10 tenths but is there another way of saying that? Because it is the whole, the whole tenths frame is yellow. So we could say one, okay? 10 tenths where the numerator matches the denominator is one whole, okay? And that works for any denominator. Let's say it was split up into quarters, into four equal parts. If we had four out of four, we'd have one whole, okay? As shown with our bar model right there. If I took one away, I wouldn't have 10 tenths, I'd have 9 tenths. And there we go, the bar model that's on there. Okay. If I took another one away, I'd have 8 tenths. Okay. Then we have 8 tenths, part of our bar model there. You can see the bar model just decreasing each time when we take away a tenth. And that one there, again, you know now, is going to be 7 tenths. As a bar model, we've got seven parts shaded there. 
Okay, year four. Pause the video now. Go and have a go at questions one to three on the worksheet. Off you go. Okay. So, on we go. We've got our tense frame. We've got our bar model. What are we going to be doing? Ah, now we're going to put them onto a number line. You can see that the number line's been split up into how many parts? Ten equal parts. Now, at the moment, I've got no tenths, so nothing shaded, and there's nothing on my bar model. If I have one tenth, okay, I need to put one on my bar model, and that's the first interval on this number line. That's what we call these marks. We call it intervals, and you know what? I think we talked about that in September and October, didn't we? If I put another counter on, I'd have two tenths, and you can see how everything changes. The numerator goes up by one. I have one more on my bar model, one more on my tens frame, and I go another jump on the number line. Same with three tenths, four tenths, five tenths. Count with me. Six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths, or one. It's exactly the same. You see there on the number line, ten tenths is the same as one. Okay. Right, year four. We're flying through, aren't we? Have a go at question four on the worksheet. Pause the video now and go and have a go. Okay, so we got to the end of our number line. We got to 10 tenths or one hole, but can we not go further? Of course we can. So what we're going to do is extend our number line out to go from one hole or 10 tenths and we're going to keep on going now if i had 10 tenths and i added another tenth how many would i have well i'd have 11 tenths there we go i'd have one hole plus one more tenth i'd have 11 tenths if i added one more i'd now have 12 tenths count with me here for 13 tenths, 14 tenths, 15 tenths, 16 tenths, 17 tenths, 18 tenths, 19 tenths. What are we going to have next? You can see what's about to happen with this bar model. We've got one hole here, and this one's about to fill up. How many will we have with this one goes to the top? We'll have two holes. We'd have how many tenths? 20 tenths, which is the same as. Oh, I heard you shout all the way from here. Two. Okay, so we could keep that number line going. If we went beyond two, we'd have 21 tenths, 22 tenths, 23 tenths. Okay, super duper. Actually, you know what? Who said that fractions had to have a numerator smaller than the denominator? The numerator can be bigger than the denominator. Okay, it just means then that our fractions would be worth more than one. OK, when our numerator is smaller than the denominator, we have a fraction that is less than one. When we have a numerator that is greater than the denominator, we have a fraction that is greater than one. OK, year four. I think you've done really well today. Go and have a go at the rest of the worksheet and I will see you later on. Great work. Bye for now.